subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Hello. This video will give you a concise overview of the poem An Allegro written by John Milton. First of all, let's have a brief introduction to the poem. An Allegro is a pastoral poem by John Milton published in his 1645 poems. El Allegro in Italian means the happy man. It is a long poem having 152 lines and explores the different aspects of joy and mirth associated with both rural and urban settings. El Allegro invokes the goddess mirth with whom the poet wants to live, first in pastoral simplicity and then amid the busy hum of men in cities full of vitality. It paints a vivid picture of the joys of nature music and social activities celebrating a life filled with positive and lively pursuits let us now look at the summary the poem begins when the speaker expresses a strong aversion to melancholy describing it as born of cerberus and black midnight the speaker wishes for melancholy to find a desolate place a dark cell where it can dwell amidst eerie and unholy surroundings The first line is emphasize the speaker's desire to distance himself from the oppressive influence of melancholy. The speaker then invites goddess Iphrosyne associated with joy and mirth. The speaker suggests different origins for her involving Venus, Bacchus or the playful wind Zephyr and Aurora. This union results in the birth of a lively daughter. The speaker urges a nymph to hurry and bring along youthful jollity for a joyful occasion. The speaker celebrates carefree activities that mock worries with laughter personified holding it aside. The speaker seeks to join the company of mirth, aspiring to live in unrestrained and joyful pleasures, enjoying the sounds of nature like the lark's song at dawn. The speaker then expresses a desire for the morning sun to dispel darkness. The speaker mentions of the lively sounds of a crowing cock and the activity of farm life. The speaker enjoys the awakening sounds of hounds and horns in the distant hills and describes walking through green landscapes occasionally visible by hedgerow elms on small hills. The speaker then describes the eastern horizon where the sun rises surrounded by fiery hues and clouds adorned in diverse colors. The scene includes a plowman whistling, a joyful milkmaid singing, and a mower sharpening his scythe. Shepherds share stories under a hawthorn tree. The imagery conveys a tranquil countryside with a blend of natural beauty and daily rural life. The poet then paints the scene of urban life. The poet describes a festive atmosphere with merry bells and lively music, prompting youths and maidens to dance in shaded areas. People of all ages join in playful activities during a sunny holiday, continuing until nightfall. The verses then shift to a preference for urban life, emphasizing towering cities, the bustling activities of knights and barons, and the presence of influential ladies. The overall theme contrasts the rustic setting with grandeur and social dynamics of city life. The speaker expresses a desire for grand ceremonies and festivities. and elaborate spectacles reminiscent of youthful poets' dreams the speaker desires to witness performance on the well known stage whether by johnson or shakespeare seeking escape from cares the speaker wishes to be surrounded by soothing laden airs accompanied by immortal words the conclusion emphasizes a desire to live with mirth who can provide such delights echoing a commitment to a joyful and carefree existence